What's happening, my Android friends? Welcome to another episode of the App of the Week. I am David, of course, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, and we're going to be looking at active notifications, which some of you might already be familiar with. Yes, we've featured it on the site a couple times. First, when it had its initial launch, but then we were all kind of disappointed that, well, you know, it was only for Android 4.3 and AMOLED displays, so that kind of sucked. But... A nice little update came about, which was like, uh, I said it so Canadian-like, <laughs> I'm weird. Um, came about uh, a few days ago, and now anything with Android 4.1 and up, I believe, can um, rock this. And basically what it is, it's just like those peak notifications on the Moto X phone, which you actually saw in the beginning. And it's very easy to use, very easy to set up. Um, as you can see, I'm in the setup screen right here, and obviously... Uh, enable it right there and then of course you're gonna have to go into your accessibility settings just like all other notification applications um, and you gotta turn it on there to activate it and then you get a couple other things too like custom screen timeout eh. okay and you can adjust it right there I have it for 15 seconds which is the default pretty good um, then you could set it up by um, your apps you know you can go through all your apps and then uh, just select them the ones in red are the ones that aren't getting the notifications um, it usually just uh, does it automatically. When I f uh, first installed it, it actually had all the ones that I would use already um, selected, so that was cool. And then, of course, you can pay a whole 99 cents, you know, and instead of buying a spicy chicken sandwich, you could just go ahead and uh, get the premium unlock, unlock, um, unlock key or whatever the hell they call it. And you get these other ones like more privacy, sleep at night, you know, just other little added tweaks. Nothing really major. Um, but it's pretty cool. Um, it definitely gives you that Moto X quality. I'll actually send myself a notification here. Yeah, bit. Give me a second. Let's go ahead and send that. Let's see if it works. Hopefully. Bump the camera. Why not? There we go. And of course, it shows it right there. And this, it'll show the previous notification right here first. And then once you select it, it'll show the address it's kind of weird the there is a slight bug in here um, I notice when especially with text message I think it's mainly maybe it's just core apps the uh, Google core apps but sometimes it'll show that it'll display the message right here and sometimes it won't it's weird um, so it's probably just a bug they need to get out and then you got the rest of your notify Oop. of course and then you got the rest of the notifications right here too um, and sorry there's a blender in the background um, no quiet on the set here. Um, yeah, there's uh, you got the rest of your notifications right here, and you can actually just touch touch each one. I think. All right, it worked before. Oh, there it goes. It is working, kinda. <laughs> See, unlock your phone for more info. Yeah, there you go, Johnny. So I mean, if you touch that, it'll let you know. <laughs> and you guys just saw my voicemail number. It's okay. You can call it. It's what what not. But, um, yeah, it also gives you the option, too, to just go right to the message, which is pretty cool. I really like that. And I've been digging it. I've been uh, using it probably for about five days. I actually think whenever the heck they updated it, I've been using it. And, you know, everybody kind of was concerned about battery. Is it going to suck up that precious battery? You know, and I actually haven't really seen much. I haven't seen any difference. Yeah, I mean, it's it works just like any other app that, you know, turns on when you get a notification. And Like I said, it just turns right off after 15 seconds or so. It'll like remind you too. It'll come on and come on a couple times, but then that's it. Other than that, it's pretty awesome, guys. So if you want a little Moto X, a little Moto X peak notifications, I'd suggest getting some active notifications. All right. Well, hit that like thumbs up button if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I'm David, your Android junkie at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been Apple of the Week. Active notifications. So active. Oh, it's charged. Wow. Um, isn't that such a good feeling when your phone gets like fully charged? There's just something about it. It's it's awesome. All right, guys, talk to you later.